lettuce eat. She's lettuce eat, and you're in for a treat when you watch lettuce eat. Dollar Tree clean with me, zoning and decluttering. Zaire, Jacqueline, Dave doing his thing. Dutch oven meal hacks. She's coming back. She's coming back. This is Lettuce Seat. I'm Suzanne Bridgeway, and welcome to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for dropping by and clicking on my link and checking me out. We're gonna do a grocery prep list today. I'm gonna peek into my freezers as well as my cupboards to see what we are getting low on to create a proper list from our inventory of what we have stocked on. When things start getting low, I like to have a certain amount of items of the things that we use on a regular basis. If you knew, we do giveaways every 100 subscribers. We'll get into that a little later within this video. Smash on that subscribe word and thank you so much for giving me a chance and checking me out. I'm gonna turn the camera around and look into my freezer. When you're doing your grocery shopping, keep an itemized list of what you have available within your freezer so you don't purchase doubles and multiple quantities of items already you have available. I keep an itemized list in my phone of everything that's in this freezer, the cupboards, as well as the small freezer. And you should also inventory your fridge because those are easily expired. And if they sit in your refrigerator long enough, they're going to get gross smell and change colors. So it looks like we have a lot of variety of things. We have garlic bread, we have ravioli, we have many pancakes and larger pancakes. We have shrimp, a variety of fruit, party wings, and it looks like we have some meats down below. And in the very bottom, that's where we keep all our frozen produce, as well as other areas within the freezer. This is where I keep my stock for canned goods and jarred variety items, as well as boxed. Looks like we have a fair amount of great value pasta and spaghetti. We do like a lot of great value products from Walmart. There is a Walmart Dollar Tree products empties video down below in the all other playlist called Walmart Dollar Tree Empties, so check that out. Looks like we're pretty good on sauces and diced tomatoes. Then we have a variety of vegetables down there from a can green beans to mixed. Cream soups for casseroles and other things like soups and stews. And then I have can of tuna and chicken. There's a bend towards the back. Taking a look in my small freezer. Looks like I'm going to have to be organizing these again. So we'll do new videos. We have whole chickens. I'm going to take one out for probably Monday. We don't always stick to our meal planning board. There is a playlist down below called meal planning. Looks like we have an eye round. We have a lot of chicken. We like to buy pizzas from the pizzerias because they're just way better than the frozen variety now. Got to get through some of this chicken. We got ground beef. So let's go look into the flyers now that I know what I have available. What you see here on the table is a notebook, my club card for ShopRite, which you'll need if you have a ShopRite within your area. A lot of my stores in my area, you need a card to shop there. Like BJ's, you need a membership. ShopRite, you can get the club card as well as our price shopper slash market 32. Our Hannaford, however, doesn't have one. They just allow you to have those low prices. I have my pen here as well as the paper. We're going to be picking up a spiral ham probably a few days before Easter. I'm thinking Dave mentioned them at... BJ's. I have cereal, but right away I can see the cinnamon toast crunch. That's three dollars a box. Then they have English muffins. David doesn't prefer the Thomas's too much. He likes the ones that are the store brand from ShopRite. Looking to see if they have any other decent sales. They have Arm soda available, four for five in the two liter bottles. We also check online for the super coupons that we download to our card. So when we do go into the store and we purchase the super coupon items, they'll come out at the end of the total and we save big, sometimes more than 50% off. Now I don't need any chicken. We can wait a week on the ground beef. And I think we're getting low on pork chops. I'm going to write down pork chops. 
We know we're going to need milk in the next couple of days. I'm good with coffee. If there's a decent hot dog sale, I'm going to pick up a big package of hot dogs. And then we have them for when the weather gets nicer. It's going to be nice enough to grill a few days next week. Not really into Mexican too much anymore. I do like it. We're loaded with chips. Aldi has flyers and sales as well. Usually with Aldi, we kind of wing it. And we go in, if it strikes our fancy, we'll pick it up. Their prices are about the same as Walmart. Walmart is the same way. I, we don't buy too many meats here. I do look, buy a lot of dairy products and snacks and lunchbox stores for Jacqueline. I never buy any personal hygiene at the supermarkets. They have oranges on sale. They're tangerines. I'll write that down. They also have potatoes, which we'll need for two ninety nine a bag, and that's five pounds. They have bread bell peppers. I'll let Dave know. He's been on a salad kit too. A dollar forty nine a pound. One's a Saturday flyer, one's a Sunday flyer, and we're just going to go over everything. I don't need chicken, but that is an amazing buy. The cereal sales are better than this flyer. They're $3 a box rather than 4 Jacqueline only likes the Pop-Tarts from Dollar Tree. They taste just the same. And we have a ton of crackers. Again, I don't I buy Tresemme over at Dollar Tree. It's $1.25 compared to the eight or nine dollars at your supermarket. I have fish. I have a whole bag of haddock that I need to use up. Looks like the hams are all over the place across the board on sale. I might put down Lunchables and Kids Cuisines. Jacqueline's been into them. And David might want to get that Turkey Hill iced tea. It is $2.99. And you get the price from your club card. Barbecue sauce. I got a grilling season is just around the corner. So you gotta stay, keep a stockpile of your barbecue sauce. I don't need any soda, but that is a looks like it's a pretty decent buy. I don't drink as much soda as I used to. They got broccoli fresh. And it's cheaper to buy the oranges on this flyer because it's only three dollars. You're saving a dollar. By knowing what's in your freezer and your cupboards and your refrigerator, you're going to have a better idea of what to look for in your sale flyers. And if something's on sale and it jumps out at you, write it down, especially if you know your family will eat it. We have one that's going to end today and one that's going to start tomorrow. This video is previously recorded, being filmed on a Saturday. And when you go to ShopRite, you'll need one of these cards to be able to get any of the sale prices and including the special online coupons as well as the digital coupons so you can reduce that food bill and stretch that dollar further. Sometimes we save 55% on our groceries at ShopRite and it's a huge help with the budget to keep the food even killed throughout the month. For the giveaways, there are $10 gift cards listed down below. If you're new and you need to comment in order to qualify, please be kind and you need to be subscribed and a United States resident. Looking for 12 people just to give out one, same rules apply. Not responsible thoughts for stolen prizes by mail. Our social sites are linked down below, our Facebook page and group. My email, if you would like our newsletter, is countryboots1268 at yahoo.com. And our playlists are also linked down below. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Thank you for going over with me and getting my supermarket shopping ready so we can bring you those grocery hauls that we give you on a weekly basis. 
smash on at that subscribe word and have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching.